It's that time of year again. The Grammy nominations for 2025 have dropped, and I'm about to react to the list because I guess I wasn't dead enough inside already. Hey, neighbor, welcome back to Beyond ARTV. My name is John. What used to be an annual tradition for me now feels like going to check on an old friend from high school that you don't really care how they're doing, but you feel obligated, and thus the Grammys. There's a link in the description for all of the categories. I'm not going to react to all of them, but this is my first time seeing them, so let's go over it together and see how pissed off we get in real time. Pitchfork has compiled the entire list, so let's scroll down to our first category, which is Record of the Year. The Beatles, Now and Then, Texas Hold'em by Beyonce, Birds of a Feather, Billie Eilish. I have a soft spot for that one. I love the song, but it was also my friend's first dance at his wedding last week. Good luck, babe. 360 Charlie XCX. Not like us. Three in a row that I would not be mad to see win. Espresso and Fortnite rounding it out. Uh, one being much better than the other, that being Espresso. Fortnite, one of the worst on an already bad album. Can't wait to see if the album gets as many nominations as it has variants. Simple for billionaires we do it every day up next is album of the year andre 3000's flute album got a nom for album of the year are you kidding me way to go andre billy eilish hit me hard and soft the rise and fall of a midwest princess hell yeah brat uh, Jacob Collier. Oh, <laughs> I genuinely couldn't even finish the Jacob Collier album. It's just such a clusterfuck of messiness and trying way too hard. Short and sweet in the tortured poets department. To the surprise of no one. Moving on over to Song of the Year. Beyonce, Texas, Oldham, Birds of a Feather, Good Luck Babe, Not Like Us. If you're younger, new to the Grammys, which we call the Scammies around here. Basically, if you're coming to the Scammies looking for a representation of what the best music in a given 12-month period is, then you're clueless and you could not be further from the truth. If we're playing a game of you're hot, you're cold, you are Antarctica. Moving on to our next category, Best New Artist, Benson Boone. Dochi, who I am a recent fan and convert of. I'm definitely a believer in the Nissan Altima. The Chapel Rowan, an artist who I'm not familiar with. Ray, that's amazing to see here in the States. Sabrina Carpenter, to no one's surprise, even though she is the furthest thing from a new artist. That's typically, uh, you know, the new artist category in a nutshell. It's non-new artists that have just broken out commercially, and Teddy Swims and Shibuzi also being nominated. I think Chapel Apple Rowan's gonna take this one. I also wouldn't be that mad if Dochi or Sabrina Carpenter or Ray took this home, but I don't see Ray happening, so I, you know, it might be Sabrina Carpenter, but I'm gonna leave it at Chapel. Producer of the year, where is Jack Anton? Jack Antonoff's name is not in there? <laughs> Color me shell shocked. What the fuck? Jack Antonoff probably punching the air right now because what? This is the first time since probably 2015, 2013 that he hasn't been nominated? Dan Nigro, have you officially come for Jack's throne? I've been tossing around a video idea, so this might just be the push I need to make it. Fine, I'll spill the beans. The video I have in mind is like the indie musician to pop producer pipeline and Jack Antonoff, Dan Nigro, Joel Little, and Lord, uh, names that I have bouncing around for that video. I used to be a DJ Mustard hater, but look where it got him. All the way to the top, baby. That's right. DJ Mustard nominated for that Grammy. He did produce Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. I can't be too big of a hater. I didn't have the faith of a mustard seed, but now he's proven himself. Best pop solo performance. These artists are appearing to no one's surprise. These are pretty safe picks all around. All female this time, which is definitely interesting. Good luck, babe, would probably be my pick. Probably not that surprising, but I could see Birds of a Feather winning. Best pop duo group performance. Ariana Grande, I've already stopped reading. Beyonce and Post Malone leave my jeans. No, no, God. They're just so, so many other things that have better chemistry. The last one is probably the best of those. 
but I also wouldn't be mad about Charlie and Billie Eilish teaming up. I still have yet to really listen to Gracie Abrams because I'm just having such a hard time with the whole billionaires and Nepo babies thing, whether it's Gracie Abrams or Claro or Julian Casablancas. Yeah, I went there. Best pop vocal album. Oh, wow. I am so shocked at all of these nominees. Should I have my jaw open? Maybe let's pose for the thumbnail now. <gasps> I'm giving it to Chapel. Let's give it to Chapel all the way around and just move on, okay? Best dance pop recording. Madison Beer got a nom. I don't have too much of a say here, okay? But uh, we got the extended edit of a Billie Eilish song getting nominated. It's interesting to see that her team submitted that. Anything but this, please. Best dance and electronic music album. You've got Justice getting the nom for Hyperdrama. Hell yeah, that's an underrated horse in the race. Brat by Charlie XCX, Fortet, Katronda, and Zed. I gotta give this to Justice. Incredible duo that I've just loved a lot of the songs from that project this year. But I do think that Brat might actually come away with this one. They just can't nominate Brat for this many things and then not give it anything. So I think 360 will take at least one category and then probably for best dance at Electronic. Moving into my neck of the woods now, baby, it's best Rock performance, The Beatles, Now and Then, The Black Keys, really? We're still giving it to The Black Keys, we're gonna nominate them, okay? I think that says a lot about the Grammys and being in touch with the pulse of rock music. But I continue, we've got Green Day, okay, The American Dream is killing me. Great to see, obviously my favorite band, not gonna be too mad about that. Idols with Gift Horse, one of my favorite songs on overall a disappointing album, so I'm stoked on that. Probably my favorite track overall, just a snarling punk cut. Pearl Jam with Dark Matter and St. Vincent with Broken Man. You know, other than the Black Keys, damn, I gotta give it to the Grammys. Hats off, y'all didn't do too bad this time. What would I give it to, though? Out of all of these songs, I think my favorite track, and it is close between the bottom four, I think five out of six are great songs, but I would have to give it to Dark Matter by Pearl Jam. That was such an unexpected, loud curveball. I fucking love that song and that album. This is tricky because obviously the Beatles are probably favored to win. It's an auto shoe-in, possibly, so I think they'll be the winners, but I would love to see Green Day get another Grammy, but I'm realistically not going to be mad about anybody other than the Black Keys. Best metal performance. Yes, we got Gojira, baby. That's right. Representing the French people at the Olympics with the performance of a lifetime, putting metal on the map for some people and being their heavy music awakening. Yes, yes, and yes. Judas Priest, Crown of Horns, another old but gold band still kicking ass. Knocked Loose featuring Poppy Suffocate. Congratulations to both of them for the nomination. Metallica screaming suicide and Cellar Door by Spirit Box ending on a positive. I think, again, there is one that doesn't really belong here, but I get it because they're a legacy band. This was one of the worst songs on an already extremely tepid album. Personally, let's go Gojira, man. I want to see them win this thing. It would be cool to see Knocked Loose and Poppy get it as well, so that's my backup back back pocket pick, I guess. Moving over to the next rock category, best rock song. Oh, it's Beautiful People. Again, the Black Keys. Gotta love that, man. If there's one thing the scammies are, it's consistent, but they did put Green Day's best songs. It's American Idiot Dilemma in this category, so I am automatically voting for that. Gift Doors, Dark Matter, Broken Man, pretty much a repeat of the best rock performance category, minus a song or two. I'm gonna give this one to Dilemma by Green Day, of course, to no one's surprise, and I actually think they could win for this too. Best Rock Album, The Black Crows. I did not know they even put out an album this year. Fontaine's DC Romance, that must have just came out just in time to make the cutoff date for the Grammys. Saviors by Green Day. Tank by Idols, No Name by Jack White, fuck yeah, and Dark Matter by Pearl Jam. And the Rolling Stones, sorry, I, I almost didn't scroll far enough. Hackney Diamonds too. Well, that last one actually could be an upset because the Rolling Stones, they are such a legacy act that I could see them just handing it to them. But Jack White has had success at the Grammys, and this was such a fantastic album that came out of nowhere, literally, 
I'm floored by it still. A fantastic one. It's my pick personally and my pick to win. Let's take two birds of a feather here. The alternative pairing. We've got best alternative music album and best alternative music performance. For that, we have Cage the Elephant, Neon Pill, Fontaine's DC Starburster, Kim Gordon, Bye Bye, Nick Cave with Song of the Lake, and Flea by St. Vincent. Best alternative music album. You've got Brittany Howard, formerly of Alabama Shakes, Claro, Kim Gordon, Nick Cave, St. Vincent, it's pretty much the same thing, just rotate the song for an album. Neither of these categories are super exciting to me with the nominees that they picked, but I'm gonna go with Starburster for best music performance in the alternative space, just because I wasn't really a big Fontaine's DC fan before that, but it totally swayed me back to the other side of liking them. I think for best alternative music album, though, I'm gonna go with St. Vincent for my personal pick. I thought that was a really good album, but I could see this going to Britney Howe. Scrolling down to the rap section, I'm just saying if Kendrick Lamar, not like us, doesn't win best rap performance, like for example, if this lost to Cardi B's Enough Miami, I might quite literally gouge my eyeballs out with this microphone. Nissan Altima though, that's cool to see that getting the nom, like that is such a fire track, I can't lie, so would I be mad? No I just still, come on, this is song of the year right here. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much going to do it for what I cover in this video. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my reactions to the Grammy nominees for 2025. Let me know your thoughts on the 2025 Grammy nominees in the comments down below. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe for the love of music. If there were any big snubs that you really expected to see, like Magdalena Bay but didn't show up, let me know about those as well. And I'll see you next time on Beyond ART. TV.